Hello boys and girls. <laughs> I'm so excited to film this video, like honestly. I was literally up at like 7 a.m. this morning. I was sat at the door. I was ready for my Hermes lady to drop this off. As you guys can probably tell from the title and the thumbnail, today we're gonna to be testing out the new Jeffree Star in collaboration with Shane Dawson Collection. So I basically picked this up from Beauty Bay last night, which was actually stress. <laughs> so I managed to get my hands on the palette bundle. So I picked up the conspiracy palette, which is right here. And then also the mini controversy palette, which is right here as well. Um, I've not actually got this one out of the packaging yet because I'm not going to be using this one in today's video. I feel like I didn't want to do a look using both palettes because I feel like some people might have only bought one if that makes sense so I kind of just wanted to stick to one palette for this video. I'm kind of tempted to do a giveaway with this one as well because I feel like there's probably quite a lot of people that didn't manage to get anything because I feel like it all sold out so quickly so if that's something that you guys want let me know and I'll probably do it on my Instagram which is just at Renee. Also picked up the lip bundle as well as I said I got all of this from Beauty Bay because they have such a good reliable next day delivery so shout out to them and um, I picked up the lip bundle as well so I'm gonna save that to the end because we're gonna swatch all of them on the lip so for now we're gonna focus mostly on the conspiracy palette which I'm so excited I can't believe I'm actually holding this like after watching the whole series like seeing the production like the ideas like everything just come to life like I can't actually believe I'm holding one of these in my hands you know <laughs> as we're only using this palette and not the mini controversy palette as well i kind of want to use this video as an opportunity to give you guys like a bunch of different looks to do with this so i'm probably gonna regret this like halfway through the video as i'm filming this but i'm gonna try and use every single shade in this palette one way or another so i'm gonna do five eye looks total so i'm gonna do four um, that I kind of split between one eye each to begin with and I'm going to try and use like more of the colours and like the colourful shades and things like that. My eyes are going to hate me by the end of this video like honestly. Um, and then I'm going to do one at the end and I'm going to do a full face look doing a more everyday look with the palette in case you want to see that as well. And then I'm going to use that look to do the lip swatches. So all in all we've got five looks total and lip swatches so I'm really hoping I'm giving you guys like a good amount of looks that you can do with this if you've purchased it for yourself or if you're looking to purchase it when it comes back in stock which I believe it will but yeah so far in terms of the quality like even the clasps and stuff like everything's just so heavy duty and luxurious which I really love I'm just gonna stop talking anyway and I'm gonna get into it because I know you're probably all just wanting to see the makeup I'm just gonna put the brightness down a little bit because this natural daylight is just always doing me wrong Thank you. So I want to do the first two looks with the warmer and the more like pink and orange and red tones. I'm using a Morphe M514. That's pretty much the main blending brush that I'm going to be using for this video. I have a good few of them on the go. It's like my favorite for precise blending. I'll show you what it looks like as I'm dipping in as well. Um, this brush is a little bit stained so... I'm just gonna pick some up. So I'm gonna start on the outer corner. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna start on the outer corner of this eye. Um, and we're just gonna kind of blend that in towards the inner corner. I'm barely touching the skin and already the pigmentation, the pigmentation, you know, is like so insane. And then I'm gonna start winging this out a little bit towards the brow. I'm gonna create kind of like cat shapes with all of these looks just cause I feel like that's what flatters my eyes the best, but feel free to do it however you want. It's so weird for me as well, like doing my eyes with my makeup already done, I would just never usually do this. Like I always usually do my um, eyes first and then my skin. Um, if you're wondering what I've used for a base as well, I'm like not really too fussy about bases and things like I tend to just use concealer and like a loose powder on top so far it is blending like a dream yeah I'm actually just gonna put that on the lower lash line a little bit as well I'm gonna next go in with the shade not a fact which is like a really beautiful deep purple shade and I'm gonna kind of do the same um, shape that I've done with the pink but just not take it up as high just to make sure everything stays really seamless I'm gonna take a slightly bigger blending brush this is a Zoeva 228 Lux crease brush and I'm gonna take the shade my pills and I'm just gonna because this has kind of got more of like that pinky tone to it it's more of like a bone color but it's still got a slight pink tone to it and I'm just gonna use that 
right on the top of all the pink and purples just to make sure they kind of all blend really seamlessly towards the brow. And then I'm also going to use a little bit of the purple not a fact on the very inner corner as well. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of concealer. I'm not going to like fully, fully like do a like cut crease or whatever, but I'm just going to kind of lay a bit of a base down for where I'm going to put the lid shade and it's kind of going to be in the middle of the eye. So I'm going to use Trisha in the middle of this because I just feel like she needs a moment, okay? She needs a full moment. I've actually not even swatched any of them yet. Like, that's got to happen, okay? So Trisha is going to go in the middle. So I'm just starting with an M204 by Morphe. I've not wet it or anything. I'm just going to go in dry first. Oh my god, okay. Okay, we've got a little bit of fallout, but it's okay. She is intense. Okay, I'm gonna move on to look number two. And I think for this one, I wanna use the orange, the red, and the yellow, and do, again, kind of more of a warm eye. Okay, so I'm gonna take a clean M514 and dip into Cheese Dust. Cheese Dust and Flaming Heart are probably two of like my favorite shades in here. Like, these look beautiful. So I'm excited to see what they're gonna look like on the eyes. Oh my god, this could actually be like a vibe, having two different eye looks. What the hell? I can't believe how quick they are to apply. Like they literally just like pack on and they're done. Okay, and then we're gonna go into a little bit of Flaming Heart, Sweetie. Um, and I'm just using the same brush. Like I said, like this blending brush kind of just does everything for me. And I feel like especially as well when you've got excess shadow of the previous shadow on it kind of helps to blend it all together so yeah you kind of just want to follow the shape you did with the orange but we're just not going to take the red as high and then again i'm taking that bigger blending brush that had it did have my pills on it but i only put a tiny bit on so you just kind of want a bigger cleaner blending brush maybe even a little bit of food videos on there just to like soften that out Give it like a nice yellow hue, you know? Okay, and then again, I'm just gonna use a little bit of concealer to create that like base in the middle. And then I'm gonna take a clean brush now because that's obviously got the darkest shade on. So I'm gonna take a clean Morphe and use cheese dust. Okay, and then you pretty much just wanna add a lash, mascara, wing liner, whatever you wanna do to each eye, whichever look you're doing, and then you're pretty much done. Okay, I've just reprimed my eyes. They're already burning. <laughs> so we've used the warm shades. I kind of want to focus on like the greens and blues and silvers now. So I really want to do a green smoky eye using the Illuminati shade. <laughs> so we're going to use Illuminati and Conspiracy on one eye and then I don't quite know how I'm going to incorporate all of the others into one single look, but I have faith that we can do it. So clean my brushes very quickly. Some of them are stained, so don't mind that. I'm gonna dip into What's the Tea, which is the kind of like teal blue shade. And I'm gonna use this, what eye am I starting with? I just went to go on this eye, so I guess we're doing this eye first, no? <laughs> I'm gonna do like the same shape just to keep things like easier, if that makes sense, because I really wanna focus on like using all of the shades and giving them all a good go. That is so pretty. That is like winter in an eyeshadow. Like, oh my God. That all over the lid blown out. <sighs> Call it a day, boys and girls. I don't really know how this is gonna turn out. <laughs> now that I'm using it, I'm like, I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna see. It does definitely um, oxidize a little bit on the skin, this one, which is interesting. I don't know if you can see as I'm blending it out. Um, it's kind of going darker in some areas, but still blending really nicely. Oh, this would be so pretty if you were doing like a proper like winter ice queen like type of vibe. This would be so gorgeous. I don't know what to do with this eye. I've started the blue and then I was going to do the blue with the green. But I'm like, do I want to do the blue with the green? Because I kind of want the blue to have a moment, but then I don't know what to add to the blue to make it deeper. I thought you were going to try the purple. Well, I'm thinking that. But then I don't know how I'm gonna then use this shade and these sh this shade, do you know what I mean? I wish I could have found shade. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally useless. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna use not a fact and I'm gonna do more of a cat shape So we're gonna build darker colors up on the outer corner and then do a cut crease on the middle bit If that makes sense on the inner corner. Sorry, not the middle. So I'm gonna build up not a fact And then I'm also gonna use my rides here to darken it as well And then I think what I'm gonna do is do an ombre of all the silver tones <laughs> Like, I'm so determined to use every colour. So, yeah, I'm going to start with Not A Fact on the same brush. Kind of like, you can kind of just feel what your crease is and push it into the crease. And then also really short blending motions outwards. Because, again, we're doing like a little wing, you know? I don't know why I'm taking it so far, but I feel like just really winging it out. And then, again, I'm just going to link it a tiny bit there. Just a tiny bit on the outer corner. And then I'm going to take my rides here, which is the black. She looks intense, so I'm just going to use a tiny bit. Oh, that is so intense for black. Okay. And I'm just going to press that mostly towards like the lower lash line as well and get that kind of a little bit more smoky. Oh, okay. I take it back. I feel like this is going to be my favorite eye. That is sick. Oh my God. I'm in it, okay. I'm gonna cut the inner part of the lid. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer. So I'm gonna take a little bit of spiraling. Oh, there's a little bit of fallout with her, okay. In fact, I might just take a bit on my, oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't quite ready for that. Okay, and then next up, I'm gonna use Sleep Paralysis. It's looking a bit messy right now, but it's gonna come together, or at least I'm hoping it is. <laughs> I'm gonna use Sleep Paralysis and then Diet Cola on the very, very inner corner. So I might actually do Diet Cola first, just so that's definitely there. Oh my God, that is pretty. Okay, and then I'm just gonna flip this brush and use Sleep Paralysis in the middle. Definitely could be better, obviously as well. This is my first time using the palette, so don't come for me. I know the blending and stuff could have been better. And obviously for the sake of trying to test out as many shadows as possible, I use more shadows than I needed to with that. But I actually think the concept of this eye is probably my favorite so far. Like I love the colors and I love the silver running through i love like the fade from the light silver to the darker silver to the black and the purple the blue at the top i think looks really fun yeah just really like different with me as well so i know the technique in the blending isn't perfect okay don't come for me <laughs> ignore my under eye it's getting messy okay <laughs> as i said for this eye i want to use the green so i'm actually going to start with diet root beer and build that up a little bit in the crease and that's going to be like our main crease shade and then i'm going to do a similar technique by adding the black and then doing the greens on the inner corner of the eye this is why i'm getting so much fallout because i'm starting to act like i've not got base makeup on now okay i'm getting like so carried away i feel like i was really careful with the first two eyes <laughs> and now i'm just kind of like slapping it on like full force okay i'm gonna add a tiny bit at a time of black literally like a tiny bit at a time okay so yeah i'm literally still using diet root bit and the black shade just to get you know a little base on the go. I'm gonna start off with the shade Conspiracy and that's gonna go right on the inner corner and then we're gonna blend Illuminati into the black and the brown. So just wanna kind of, oh girl, that is pretty. Oh my God, that is so gorgeous, what the fuck? And then again, I'm gonna carry this lighter shade through just to kind of like balance the other side. I feel like we've got like, water and earth on the go and we had fire the pink wasn't really wind but you know what i mean i feel like we've got elements on the go here so i kind of want to balance them out i love that green okay i'm gonna go in with illuminati on the other side of the brush oh my god oh my god i'm not ready i wasn't ready and i'm still not ready now and then you just want to like keep flipping your brush around and kind of like mesh them together a little bit and then i'm actually just taking a flat shader brush as well with the black just to create more of like a wing shape. Okay, I feel like they're at a semi-happy point there, okay? I feel like, again, this side, like technique blending by myself could have been a little bit better, but 
do you know what? I actually really love the concept of both eyes and I feel like, again, they match really well. Like we had the pinks and the reds the first time and now this is more like cool tones, like greens and blues, that kind of vibe. So I'm actually really happy with how it came out. Oh gosh, my eyes are done. Um, I'm gonna take Tanacon first and I'm gonna pop this in the crease. So, oh my God, we can actually do both eyes now. <laughs> so I'm gonna do kind of just like an easy everyday natural eye. I mean, it's not super natural, but like pretty natural for me, you know. Okay, and then I'm gonna take Diet Root Beer. I can feel a hair on my face somewhere. <laughs> These are really nice browns. Like, you guys know I wear neutral colors pretty much all the time. Like, I don't really wear a lot of color. Um, I'm just a neutral kind of girl. And honestly, I don't really, I can't think of many neutrals that I have that are just like the perfect, they're like the perfect in between of like warm and neutral. Also, if you ever notice my shadow kind of skips here sometimes, um, it's because my eyebrows are actually microbladed there. So it's kind of almost like a little bit of like a scar that it skips over from where the hair strokes are. So in case you're ever wondering like why my eyeshadow can sometimes skip at this part of my eyes, that's why. As I said, I'm gonna do like a smoky black liner. So the brush that I'm using the for this is an Anastasia number seven brush. Um, you want a really, really thin angled brush for shadow liner because if you have like an angled brush that's too thick and dense, it'll just put product all over the place and it won't actually create like a line or a wing. Once I've done the outline of the wing, I go in with a Zoeva 317, which actually is a little bit more dense. Um, just because it's quicker for like dragging and filling in the actual black, if that makes sense. Okay, and then when I've got to that stage, I'm going to use the Just A Fairy colour. Um, I'm just kind of like going to blend that and pat that on the inner part of the lid. I don't want it to be like too intense or anything. I just want it to be like a nice little pop of shimmer when it hits the light. The last shade, the only shade we have not used so far is Ranch. And as this is like a really gorgeous kind of like pearlescent white, um, I'm going to use this on my inner corner. Oh my god. Oh my god. That moment right there, when you like put the inner corner highlight and then take the brush away, there is actually nothing like it. Like, that is the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put lashes on and then we will do the lips. So I'm gonna start with the shade Shane, of course. Um, and I'm gonna use a sleek lip liner for this. This is the Locked Up Super Precise Liner in Just Say Nothing. Also, don't mind my lashes, I think they're still drying. It smells like root beer. <laughs> oh my god, it smells so good. This color of liquid lipstick is so different, so unique. I don't even know how I describe it in terms of the color. It's kind of like an old metal color, I would say. Um, it's kind of like silver in some lights, but then it has like some sort of like gold reflect to it as well. Um, it's kind of like greeny, like gray, like it's just really grungy and really cool, which I really love. Um, it is a metallic finish. Feels super comfortable on the lips. I have never seen myself in a lip color like this. And honestly, like I'm not actually that mad about it. Okay, next up, I'm gonna do the shade I Gotta Go because I feel like it's similar in terms of the color and the finish to Shane. It's kind of more of that metallic finish again, um, but it's a little bit warmer and it's more of a bronze tone, which again, Nothing like what I have in my collection. Obviously with it being a liquid lipstick, it's gonna dry down like it's not a gloss or anything So I'm really intrigued to see what this will be like on and I'm gonna pair it with a Huda Beauty lip liner Okay, that is beautiful Okay, already I prefer this to the first shade, Shane. No shade <laughs> Um, yeah, this is way more me. I feel like I would wear this like day to day It's kind of like that in between where it is like more on the nude side And I feel like especially on deeper skin tones as well. This would look so so beautiful Okay, next up we've got the two baby pink shades So we've got the shade Ryland which is kind of again like metallic finish and more of like a barbie pink color And then we've got the shade oh my god, which is a matte finish and it's a little bit lighter And um, i'm actually going to use the same lip liner for both of these so i'm going to use Rimmel blushing nude and um, just because especially with oh my god it's very very light so I feel like I feel like I could maybe wear it by itself but personally I would still pair it with a lip liner okay so that is Ryland on 
again obsessed with that like i just think it's so pretty so cool i feel like it matches the lip liner really well as well um i would probably actually use this as a lipstick topper and then onto oh my god i feel like this one's a little bit more cool toned as well it's kind of like a very like barbie baby pink so i've lined my lips a little bit more as well just so it kind of fades hopefully a bit too that is literally like bubble gum <laughs> That is literally like a bubblegum pink. The only thing I don't always like about these types of pink is I feel like they do make your teeth look a little bit yellow. But I actually really like that. I like how it's kind of more of a neutral pink on the outside as well. And then it goes into like the more bubblegum pink as well. Okay, on to Jeffrey What The Fuck. <laughs> literally a mood okay so this is a darker pink possibly a little bit more wearable across the board i feel like i'm actually gonna pair this with again a rimmel lip liner in the shade indian pink okay sorry it's getting so dark now because i've literally been filming for hours <laughs> i actually really like this like i genuinely didn't expect to like this at all because i never wear pink like i'm just not a pink type of girl like i wear nudes or reds but this is so cute, like I love it, and I feel like this will genuinely flatter every single skin, skin tone. Okay, last but not least, we have Andrew's lipstick, which is the shade Are You Filming, which I feel like is going to be my favourite, because you guys know I love a good red. So I'm going to pair this with Cherry by MAC. Oh my god, that is a bit of me. That is a bit of me, okay. Oh my god. The pigmentation with these as well is insane, like especially the mattes that like you literally need one swipe and it's like covered hands down that's gotta be my favorite color like i am obsessed so i'm actually gonna keep this makeup on because your girl's going out for dinner so i'm gonna wear this out absolutely killed it like i love the way they documented it all and showed us like so much of the process like especially for someone that loves makeup and would maybe like to have a brand of my own one day it's just really interesting to see it all kind of come to life like from being one small idea to becoming an actual like product that people hold um but yeah i'm gonna get going because the camera's about to die i love you all let me know what your favorite look was and if you got anything from the collection yourself and i will see you in the next one bye <laughs>